All right, so let's attempt to work on this iPhone's motherboard, the one I spoke about yesterday with the damaged FPC connector. And I told you I do not know if I'm going to work on this board. I left it until end of the day because I did not want to waste time on it during the day. Right now it's uh, 5.50, we close at 6, so I'm going to give it some time. If I feel like it's not going to work out, then I'm not going to work on it. But the least I can do is give it a try. Customer mailed in three devices and I do not want to let him down. If I can fix it, I would. And that's why I tell people, some customers, they tell me, why wasn't the device fixed? Not all devices are fixable. We do not live in a perfect world. If I can fix it, I would love to take your money and fix it. But if I cannot, then there's nothing I can do. Uh, two reasons why a device uh, would not be fixable. Number one, if I cannot figure out the problem, maybe I'm working on an ASUS motherboard. We do not have a circuit diagram for the board. We do not have a board diagram for the board. And it's just a rabbit hole. I cannot afford to spend hours and hours and hours working on that board. So I just give up on it. And the other thing is, like this board here that we're going to be working on, I look at this board and I see something like this. I'd rather not spend the time to work on it because we have a lot of other things to get done. So if I want to waste three hours to work on this board, I could do five, six other devices in the three hours period. So it's not efficient, it's not practical, it's not economical to spend that much time on one board. Maybe the customer will take this board to somebody else who has a lot of free time and the guy can spend three, four, five days working on the board and may get it to work, that's possible. But we do not have that luxury of spending so much hours working on one specific board. Uh, I like to work efficiently. I'm very good at figuring out problems quick. Sometimes a device may take longer than usual to figure out the problem, but it's okay to spend half an hour, even one hour on a device. But uh, if I feel like the device is going to take more time and I'm going to run myself into a rabbit hole where the device may work or may not work, then I do not work on a device. For example, when you look at something like this, in order for me to work on this device, I tell the customer it's going to cost you that much money if we can fix the device or if I spend the time on it and cannot fix it, we're going to charge you a repair at 10 fee. Now, if customer agrees, then I will put the time and effort into trying to get this board to work. I'd rather fix the device. Customer will be happy and we get paid more money. But if I work on it, I did my absolute best and we still cannot fix it, at least I know that we are getting paid the minimal fee for the repair at 10 My wife is passing by the store. She's outside and she's asking if I want to go with her. I live a couple of blocks down. I'm not too far away from the shop, maybe five minutes walk. I like walking, but now she's outside and she's asking if I want to go with her. I told her to wait 10 minutes. Just, I just want to see if this phone has a chance or not. Even if I start working on it now and not finish it today, that's okay. But I just want to see if there is any signs of hope for this device. So while she's waiting, let's go ahead and attempt to desolder the FPC connector. Okay, so We're going to clean up. I still cannot make out what's going on here. Maybe if I clean up a bit, I will have an idea. Okay, the picture is getting clear. This board may be workable. I do not see any missing components. I do not see any missing pads. We do have to apply solder mask on the scratches here. I think there's a good chance that we may be able to get this board to work. I do not know if there's anything else wrong with the board, but uh, based on first impression, after removing the FPC connector, it may be workable. Short video, but we'll continue tomorrow. And for all the comments I received on yesterday's video, the 
the new launch of the website. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go over the comments quickly before I leave. A lot of good feedback, suggestions, and all that good stuff. Let's start with the first comment, Hamid. The website itself looks good. I see a little problem with your logo. It's not high resolution and looks like old web pages. I hope it's helpful. Thank you very much for the feedback. But honestly, I'm not seeing what you are seeing. I checked the logo, the website on a desktop, tablet, phone. The website is optimized for tablets and phones. And I'm not seeing uh, a low resolution image. Unless you are zooming into the logo or pixel peeping, then of course the logo is going to get pixelated. But other than that, I'm not seeing the same issue. Congratulations from Mo. Thank you very much. Wayne Taylor always has something good to say. More than happy to help out with answering your question and answers. Thank you very much, Wayne. You always have good things to say. A comment from Richard, and Richard is a avid watcher of the channel. Back in the day, we had a name for these people. He's talking about people who call into our shop to ask questions about what tools we are using and uh, to get information. They are called information leeches. Uh, some people think that years of experience can just be transferred in a sentence. Practice is the mother of all skills. Uh, you want to be good, you have to spend a lot of time under the microscope. You cannot just watch a video or two and expect to do the job. And one thing about asking a question, just do your own research first. Go to Google, go to Amazon, read reviews, uh, do your own research. And then if there is a specific question that you were not able to find an answer for, or you may be confused about a specific topic, then you can ask a question. But we have questions like, my phone fell in the toilet, how do I fix it? I mean, <laughs> if it fell in the toilet, there is one million reasons why the phone may not be working. And I cannot just uh, go like this and tell you how the phone can be fixed. I mean, it's not possible. Do not ask questions like this. If you tell me I opened the phone, I cleaned it, I removed the board, I found corrosion on uh, the touch I see on the back, do you think this is going to stop the phone from working? Or do you think it's possible that this phone can be fixed? Then that's a smart question. I can give you a smart answer. But if you tell me phone fell in the toilet, how do I fix it? There's no answer to that. Everybody can give you an answer, and no two answers will be alike. Nobody knows. And the next comment is by Tony Cox. Tony is not only a watcher of the channel, but he constantly orders from our web store. He owns a video game and comics shop in Maine. Thank you very much, Tony. We all appreciate your hard work. Thank you. Congrats on your new website. Thank you very much, Prince. I congratulate you with the new website. It's really looking good. Thank you, Marinus. And Admir Reyes, thank you for sharing useful knowledge always. Jetin, he always comments on our videos as well. This is called thinking in the right direction. Question and answer section on the website clears. Yes, definitely, definitely. Shehan, a constant watcher of the channel. I always see his comments. I always thought to text you about some questions when I'm repairing, but I didn't because I felt I will disturb you. Definitely one day I will donate. You do not have to donate. Just ask your questions and I will be more than happy to answer you. And Arsenal, people calling in and asking questions. It's a good problem to have. Sounds like Roman Pains. Albert Einstein himself. He's not dead yet. Uh, hi. Thank you. I appreciate your hard work fixing recording videos. I learned a lot. I watch you from Algeria. My salute to people from Algeria. Hamid, uh, another comment. Hello, man. Great video and congratulations on the new website. Thank you, Hamid, for the comment. Sanjaya, you forgot to upload English captions. Uh, I did not forget, but I never knew that we have to upload languages for people to be able to read captions. I'll look into that. Uh, tech, sounds like the workload is high enough to warrant hiring someone to filter your calls. We are five people at the shop. Myself, Big Boss, who handles most of the repairs here. I handle micro soldering. We have Malake. She comes here from 12 to 5. She answers calls, customer service, voicemails, emails, uh, answering inquiries, uh, entering mailings in the system, and uh, labeling which item has to be shipped, which item needs to be worked on today. So uh, she's an office manager. She does all that stuff. And we have my dad. He's the one that handles fulfillment, packaging, shipments. Uh, orders and we have Dolly. 
She's the web developer. She's really good at what she does. Akram, thanks for your hard work. Thank you, Akram. Uh, we have Ken. Thank you, mister. I think since Ken started to comment on our videos, he always posts the same comment. Thank you, mister. Always. If I go back 30, 40 videos, thank you, mister. Nothing against Ken. I love you. But uh, change the comment once in a while. Joshi, I'm from India. I saw your post. Very nice voice. And uh, thank you very much, Joshi. And then we have congratulations for the new website. And then uh, A.W. Bukhari. Idea for a second channel. Northridge Fix. Shelter for abused electronics. Good idea. Def Palm Electronics. Make sure to check out his channel. A lot of good videos on test equipment. Indeed, many people do not seem to realize how much commitment it takes from us to make a video for people to watch. Six, seven hours editing one video. That's a lot of time. Six, seven hours is a lot. It does take two or three hours, maybe one hour, about six, seven hours, depending on how big the video is. Okay, uh, I have to go. My wife is waiting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.